Hey, there's a speed bump. Ooh. Yeehaw! All right, guys, well, today we're in Des Moines, Iowa, and we're up here visiting some family. We're having a pretty good time catching up and everything. But today we wanted to get out and we wanted to do a test with Jack, our uh, DJI Mini 2 drone. We're gonna go to a place called um, Sailorville, Lake. Sailorville Lake, and we're gonna revisit the return to home uh, function of the DJI Mini 2. But we're gonna do something a little bit different than we've done in the past. Did you guys know that there's actually three different modes in the return to home function for the drone? I kind of knew that, but I didn't really, but I did, so now I do. Does that make sense? No. Well, the first mode is the smart return to home, where the operator of the drone uh, will hit or select return to home on the controller or on the uh, DJI Fly app, and the drone will return to home. The second mode is the low battery mode where the drone will return to home whenever uh, the battery hits a certain critical point. Well, the third mode is called the fail safe mode where the drone will return to home whenever uh, the drone and the controller lose connection. So we're going to try out all three of these different modes. I've never intentionally disconnected the controller from the drone before. I've seen a lot of people do it on videos, but I'm kind of nervous about that part. Um, but there's also another part of the return to home that we're going to address as well. In the manual, there's a part in there where it says that if the drone is more, I'm sorry, if the drone is less than 20 meters away uh, from the home point, the return to home function won't work. And what will happen is, is the drone will just sit there and hover um, in place. And there's a second part in there where it says that the drone could actually just land in place. Um, so that could be bad. Uh, if you're over water or something, you could actually lose your drone forever if that happens. All right, everybody, here we are. We're at Sailorville Lake. We're going to run this test. We're going to get Jack all squared away, and we'll get started. All right, so the first part of this test is going to be the smart return to home, which everybody is pretty much familiar with, where you just hit return to home on the controller or on the phone, and the drone will automatically return home. So let's get the drone started up. Take off. Get over to normal mode. Get him up in the air. Home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Make sure that I'm screen recording this, which I am. Okay. So we're going to go up to about, uh, let's say, 100 feet, and then we'll go out about 600 feet or so. Get the gimbal turned down to about five degrees, give or take. Now let's go to 10. All right. So we're at 100 feet, and I'm just going to fly out to about 600 feet. I'm in normal mode, going about 20 miles an hour. We're about halfway there already. And I'm gonna hit this return to home option. Just don't pay attention to the loud beeping. It kind of gets annoying. We'll try to get that muted a little bit. All right, so we're about 600 feet out, give or take. Still got a perfect view of the drone. And I'm gonna just hit return to home and demonstrate the return to home function. All right, here we go. It's going to raise up to 150 feet. He only turns 90 degrees. I do. I still think that's kind of strange. He's going up in the air, and now he's already returning home. I just does anybody else have that issue with the drone turning 90 degrees and flying back sideways? If you do, let me know. He's done that ever since I've started the return to home thing. <laughs> And he's pretty much right overhead. I'm going to back up a little bit. And he's starting to descend. Well, not yet. Landing. All right, he's landing now. Demonstration one is done. It's time to put a dead battery in him and try number two. All right, so this part of the test is the uh, critically low battery uh, return to home. So when the battery reaches a certain level, it doesn't feel like it's going to have enough juice to continue. It's going to automatically return home. So again, we're going to go over water on this one. Again, not the smartest thing to do. <laughs> Let's get Jack started. Take off. 
see it already has the it already has the low battery return to home promptly thing or display showing so it may not go very far so I'm gonna go to 100 feet again I'm gonna start going out over the water already all right so I'm at 100 feet we'll continue going until uh until it says critically low battery which may not be long it's already down to 15 percent battery level is low all right. the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds all right we'll let her go down through the countdown i can still see jack very well go it's only 397 feet away she's returning home wonder what he's gonna oh he's raising up already so he just he just goes into total return home mode at that point he doesn't try to back up or anything like that he just immediately goes up to the uh return to home altitude and then comes home i'm gonna try to turn him a little bit landing Try to get ourselves a little bit of a different view. All right, very cool. But right now we're going to go to the third, uh, to the third one, which is it's the fail safe. So this will activate if you've got a good GPS signal, which we've got 17 satellites right now, uh, and the uh, drone and the controller lose connection. So I'm going to get the drone out over the water. Kind of nervous about this <laughs> never tried this before so i don't know if going over water is the smartest thing to do but but uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get jack up in the air we're gonna get him out about i don't know 500 feet and uh i'll i'll turn the controller off and we'll see what happens hopefully uh hopefully he comes back all right so let's get jack started take off Oh, the battery is, has been updated. The battery compartment's left open. That was weird. I gotta clip that battery compartment shut. Look at this. <laughs> this that popped open on me. I gotta close it. That's not good. Glad we caught that. Back down to 15 satellites though. That's kind of strange. Alright, so let's get Jack started. Take off. Put him up in the, the air. Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We'll raise him up to about 100 feet or so, and then we'll go out and uh, go over the water. We're going to fly him directly into the same path that we did last time, or with the last uh, demonstration here. So he's out about 400 feet right now. So we'll go, we'll do that, 450 feet. And I guess I just have to totally disconnect power. So I'm gonna turn the controller off and see what happens. I can see him from here. And there we go. We'll see what he does. He's totally lost connection. He's just sitting there. Looks like he's raising up. He might be flying backwards. Oh, he's flying backwards. So he's almost over land now. Now he's raising up. That is cool because he's coming home. Here he comes, guys. This actually worked. Oh, he's right in the sun now. I hope I got him in the shot. I can't believe that worked. That is crazy awesome. Thanks for coming home, Jack. Make sure he gets safely landed here and I'll be able to turn the uh, controller back on. Check all the specs. 
he's really taking his time getting back to ground though which makes me a little bit nervous and there we go so he's just hovering I, maybe he's hovering because it's not a good landing spot so let me get uh let me get the controller turned back on make connection with them and I'll get them connected and we'll get them landed. So it says he's an unstable uh, landing area, so I got to get him over to me. So I'm just going to land him. All right, so the last thing that we want to do, we want to try that part of the manual that says if you're less than 60 meters or 20 meters away, uh, the return to home function will not work. So I'm going to do this over land just because i don't want to put him over water uh, and have him land on me because i don't know for sure if he's going to land or if he's going to hover uh, the manual is not too clear about it exactly but we're going to find out now get check Take up in off. the air the home point has been updated i'm going to go this way so i'm going to go about 50 feet away Almost there. All right, so we're at 50, we'll go 54 feet. Let me raise him up in the air just a little bit. We'll go, says that he's six feet up there, but I'm about seven foot tall and he's over my head. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're 55 feet away, which is less than 20 meters. We're gonna hit the return to home. There's there's actually no return to home option whenever you, whenever you hit the home point on the screen or the return home on the screen, it comes up with a land option. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to the return home uh, option on the controller itself. I'm just going to hold the button down. It says return to home unavailable. What did that say again? Return unavailable within 20 meters of the home point. So it's not going to it's not going to return to home at all. So that's correct. But he's just hovering. So rather than landing, he's just hovering, which is a good thing. Because, again, if he's over water and he lands, then you could lose your drone. Well, that's cool. They must have addressed that. So there we go, guys. I'm going to come back home. I'm going to land him on my hand. And then we'll call this test a wrap. So what we learned today is the return to home function actually works in all three of the different modes that they've got implemented. Oh! <laughs> that was... <laughs> I thought it was attached to your hat, not your it's head. It. Well, if you guys have stuck with us this far through the video, we want to thank you for watching and thank you for your support. God bless. God bless.